Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you guys have seen my original power supplies right here. The one that fits the uh, S9, D3, and the L3 Plus. Kind of cleaned them up a little bit more uh, with newer printer technology that we just got. And then of course you've seen my power supply shroud for the Delta 2400 power supply. Um, which actually works really well. You know, temperature coming off those power supplies getting around 95 degrees apiece. Uh, that'll definitely heat your room up real quick and give you some problems. But then uh, I've now addressed another problem that I've been asked to by some people, which would have to be with the uh, Bitmain power supplies. You've got both the 220 version, the L3 Plus, or APW3 Plus, and then we got the APW3 Plus Plus that does 110 and 220. So this one does 220. This one does 110 and 220, and I know people have some or both. But anyway, we've uh, designed a shroud for it now, as you can see. The shroud, when the, it's sitting down, comes up at about a 45 degree angle instead of coming straight out. And we couldn't do them straight out because of how the power cords are on these things. They come out, see if you can see that a little better in there. Yeah, maybe not. They come out of the side that the heat comes out. Kind of a bad design if you're trying to figure out a way to build a uh, shroud for them. But anyway, there's a little bit of a gap in them once you put the cords through, which you just need to put a piece of tape over or something so it'll direct all the hot air up this way. But that gap, unfortunately, has to be there because of the cable sizes coming out of the end. Hey, look at that whole bundle. Takes a little bit to get them in there, but they do all fit, barely. Um, but then, of course, it leaves you with that little extra hole because of the uh, of the heat, or, be, or because of the size of the cables coming out the end. Anyway, that's the uh, 110 221. Uh, then we go down to the 220 version power supply. You got this nice little guy in here too, and you see how the wires are even different in this. Come out in big bundles right out of the front of the thing. And yeah, of course, there's all these nice little good little big things come out there, but like I said, a little bit of tape right over that after you receive it, or maybe some insulation foam or something, whatever you decide. And then you get all your heat directed back out to a four inch vent coming out. Uh, I've also got a 6 inch shroud coming out here soon I've been working on um, I'm just trying to figure out how to print it more efficiently because right now it takes a long time to print that one up but uh, anybody that's interested in this please let me know um, if I get enough interest I'll go ahead and put these two up for sale on my website too uh, then uh, they uh, will be available for pretty much anybody to purchase like the other two that I have here. So I've kind of got a little family and shrouds going now. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I got my mining room. I got two more machines that should be here any day, which uh, fill those last few spots down there on the bottom right there. And then uh, my next machines will start going up. But in the meantime, I'm trying to get rid of these extra machines. I still have one uh, Spoon Dooley uh, 10 left. I've got a bunch of these little orbs left. You know, and then um, come down here. I've got a 20 giga hasher right there, and it works perfectly. And then I've got two of these guys, the uh, grid seats uh, that do about 80 giga hashes. Now I've got a couple of spare boards for those I'll throw in with a purchase if anybody's interested. And of course I've got good old S3s. I've got two of those left too. And anybody that might be interested in a couple S1s or some Avalon 60s, uh, I don't really know anybody that would, but hey, if you are, great. I'll give them to you for a great price, probably just the shipping on them at that point. So give me a call, or not a call, but give me a, leave a message, let me know. But yeah, so. Back to our original thing here. Like I said, two new fan shrouds. You got your 220 version right here. And then you got your 
110, 220 version right here. I'd also like to know, um, I'm going to start doing some more gold panning videos. I haven't done those in a while, uh, but I wanted to uh, share knowledge about that, see if we can get other people into it, and see how they uh, feel about it. Uh, so maybe uh, teach a few lessons, uh, answer some questions, uh, and possibly even help people get some memberships into some places that where gold is found and it, it has to be guaranteed to be found there in order for it to be on this list. Um, anyway, go ahead. Leave me some comments. Subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, my next few videos will probably be even better than this one because i got a brand new uh, 4K uh, camera coming so I can clean them up a little more, make them a little more vivid. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. Let me know. I'm always up for any criticism and anything that you think I could uh, change to make my products even better. Alright, thank you, and have a nice day.